I'm going to show you how to make a course on LearnPress. If you are familiar with WordPress, using LearnPress will be very easy, but there might be a little bit of a learning curve if you're not familiar with WordPress. So that's why I decided to create this video. Uh, before I create a course, I'm just going to I guess navigate this platform and what I find to be the easiest way to create a course because there are a few ways that you can go about like creating lessons and quizzes and all this other stuff and it can be pretty confusing to a new user so this is at least just what helps me so um, well first off um, on the WordPress backend you will see this learn press section on the left hand menu and then you first go to courses. So I already created a sample course for you. I'm just going to click edit. So you can see the back ends. Um, so here I just, you know, titled it course one. And then uh, you can add content in here. And this content, um, you can add written content, you can add media, pictures, video, that sort of stuff. Um, if you, um, I'm not using the Gutenberg editor. Uh, if you are, then you can easily embed YouTube videos. But on the normal, um, uh, on the normal back end for WordPress, you can just put in your YouTube URL if you are using any videos uh, or a video from Vimeo to um, uh, to add video to your course. And then when you scroll down, this is where you will actually organize your course. So you will first add a section, uh, which then uh, the next in the hierarchy are lessons. Uh, you can also add a description to your section to explain what it's about, what the students will learn, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then you can go into actually creating your lessons and your quizzes. I'm just going to save this content really quick. So then you go into your lesson. Um, again, you can actually go into the lessons and the quizzes tab, uh, tabs and then create content this way. I find it easiest to actually go into this part and create the lessons and the quizzes, and then they will automatically show up on uh, as separate posts on WordPress. And I'll explain that a little bit more in another video. So when you click lessons, um, see it says lesson one, you can add your lesson content. Again, you can add pictures and video. Um, you can even set different, like if, you know, there's a time limit, on your quiz, um, if you want, if you're allowing students to preview your lesson, there are some other customizations. And then you click update, or I'm going to click update just so I can save that little bit of content. And then to go back to your course, uh, if you didn't notice, but WordPress opened this uh, lesson up in a different tab. So you just click out of that tab and then you come over here where I already created a quiz. Now uh, in your, oops, to actually create, what was my computer doing? I apologize. To create, to actually create questions, uh, you scroll down and then you immediately see this questions bar. Uh, you can choose what type of question it is. You can um, and then in the description, actually add the content. Uh, <laughs> this is a little, little silly question right here. And then I guess once the students answer, then this will come up. And then you can do the same thing with this one. Uh, you'll see this, like the numbered area with a section to actually enter content. And then what I like to do is click enter. And then going back and then again, 
choosing all this stuff. And then also you can, I forgot to mention this before, you can add which answer is the correct one. So let me update this and then I will create a brand new course just to show you the actual process. Now this was, as you can see, a fake course. Let's see about creating a real course. So again, you go to the courses section, click this add new button. You add a title. brief description. You scroll down and then it is the curriculum where you will actually be adding all of the content. So first one, or my first section, actually do this. As you can tell I did not <laughs> Actually, I, when, when I do create this course, I will organize it a little bit better. I'm just coming up with the stuff off the top of my head just to, just to show everybody how to do this. Then you go to Create lesson. I honestly really like how WordPress, you can do like create this entire hierarchy in one back end rather than, um, you know, going to the different tabs. Like, like you know, you can go and go to lessons, quizzes, tabs, and then like adding it into like, I just think that's a little annoying. It's honestly a lot easier if you do it like this because you're all you're on one centralized platform and I think that it's easier to do this uh, this way versus also how LearnDash does it where you're using all these different widgets and plugins and you know I like how LearnPress is very centralized makes uh, not only your course creation but the entire workflow just so much easier so let's see I'll go back and I'll edit that lesson a little bit. Now the only problem with doing this is it can take a little bit for uh, this area to load. As you can see, this is still loading for some reason, but I can always just edit this just to show you. Then from here, uh, I could add more content. Uh, you know, again, I can customize it this way, but right now I'm just going to click update. And then if you want to create some more content within this section, uh, let's say you wanted to create a quiz. 
So and the nice thing again, you can you know click here, quiz, blah blah, do it this way, or you see how in this area it says create a new lesson. You could just click this icon, and boom, now you have a quiz. And then you can always add some content in here, but I'm just going right into the questions. This one will be a true or false. And then wait for this. So this question will be false. think from here you understand the gist of creating a course on LearnPress. As you can see, it is very user-friendly, uh, especially if you already know WordPress. If you're also new to WordPress, it might take a little bit of a learning curve. You might have to play around with the platform a little bit to get used to it. But overall, I really like LearnPress uh, for a free uh, WordPress plugin. It really is powerful and offers everything you need to create a high quality course.